Welcome to Troy Let's Talk Real and I am Troy and this is my first movie review of 2020 and this particular movie that I'm going to be reviewing is called Un I, I really enjoyed it and I want to get into it and take it nice and slow. I'm a big movie guy. Um, I, I enjoy going to the movies. A lot of folks don't like it. They rather stream it in their home which I understand to each thing own. Different strokes for different folks. But this particular movie I wasn't able to stream because it's not able to be streamed on any particular website. Unless you kind of like hacking or, you know, you're doing it the wrong way. Um, I went to the movies yesterday night and I saw this movie. And um, I saw the trailers to it like everybody else. I was like, what is this? Some spare, you know, or some, you know, uh, some sci-fi movie where you're underground and you got these crazy monsters who are unbelievable. And, you know, what what is this about? You know, I didn't hear much about it other than a couple of trailers that I saw for it. So it wasn't a lot of marketing that I saw for this particular movie, but I was like, you know what? I'm a sci-fi guy. I like these, you know, is a handful of us against the world type scenario uh, movies. So I was like, you know what? Let me give it a shot. So I did. And from the beginning, the movie is action paced. It takes off with uh, the actual vessel that uh, they find themselves in, meaning Kristen Stewart, TJ Miller, Jessica Henwick, Vincent Castle, John Gallagher, Mamadou Ate. Um, they find themselves in this capsule or this vessel that's actually collapsing. There's basically a huge mining drill at the bottom of the ocean in the Mariana Trench, which they're drilling to. And, you know, the, the walls are collapsing, water's coming in, you know, Kristen Stewart is running through the hall, banging on doors, trying to wake up her other uh, mates that are on this particular drill. And, you know, it starts to take effect from there. And it's more like a snowball rolling down the hill. Now, I want to say a lot about Kristen Stewart. You know, she was obviously in the Twilight movies that gained a lot of notoriety. Um, and that was kind of one of the biggest movies that she's been in since date that I have saw. And, you know, it's good to see her bounce back and take a particularly different role because uh, I'm used to seeing her in that light. But to see her in this particular light, and without a doubt, she was the star leading role actor in this particular movie. She carried herself well and carried the movie, you know, in a lot of ways. And I don't want to spoil it because I'm not going to spoil a lot here because I want you to still go out and see it. But it's, 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 it's really claustrophobic as well as the movie progressed because they find themselves, meaning her castmates, they find themselves you know, trying to squeeze through small tunnels, walking on the bottom of the ocean in the pitch dark, can't see anything, people dying, you know, you know, so many different things occurring in the movie that, you know, it kind of raised the hairs of my arms because I'm, I'm claustrophobic. I don't like to be in tight spaces or realms or areas. I really don't like to be in large crowds either, but then that's for a completely whole nother video. But you have these creatures who are basically destroying this oil rig. And in the beginning, you're like, well, what is doing this? What's causing this catastrophic event to occur? You know, what's causing this oil rig to collapse on itself? And what's causing them to have to be put in a survival situation in which they find themselves in? They have to, you know, get from point A to point B. As the oil rig collapses, they find another derelict oil rig that they could use possibly that has escape pods on it so then that becomes the whole premise at some point in the movie where they're trying to get to those escape pods so that they can escape but as far as the creatures you don't really get to see the creatures early in the movie i mean you get to see flashes of them you get to see glimpses of them but you're like what is that you're like what is that and i, I would like to say tj miller killed this movie like he killed this movie like as far as comedy comedic slash bringing that horror feel to it he kind of broke it up a little bit because it's, it's a very tense movie but with his personality and the script that they written for him i think it was perfect i thought you couldn't write a better script or cast a better actor for that particular role that he played because he brought a lot of delight he brought a lot of laughter and he broke up the tension in the movie but you know they find themselves trying to escape but these sea creatures that are at the bottom of the Marietta Trench that nobody knew existed there is basically trying to compromise that, trying to not allow them to escape. And I don't want to give it away too much. But like I said, it's, the movie's a lot about adventure. 
it's, it's a lot about also uh, overcoming obstacles, looking out for other people, being considerate, and you know, giving up yourself for the better good or the advancement of somebody else. And I really like the way that they portrayed that in this particular movie. Uh, you get a lot of CGI, of course, um, in this particular movie. Um, and, and to be honest, it was great. For the budget that was allegedly allocated for this particular movie and for the lackluster of the marketing for this particular movie, the budget was pretty good. Um, you know, they, 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 the director here, you know, the, the way the shadowing, the way that the angles... You know, the director, William Eubank, you know, he really knew what he was doing, you know, with the limited budget that he had here. You would think that this movie cost $300, $400 million to make, but I think the benefits, they're going to reap the benefits of this particular movie, you know, but if you're claustrophobic and you don't like to be in outer space, but of course you're not in outer space in this one, you're under, you're at the bottom of the ocean, um, you know, this is going to be something that's going to trigger you. And it's very dramatic. It's very dramatic, and it's a must-see movie. There's a lot of explosions, there's a lot of jump scares, uh, things of that nature. Um, some people are saying, well, is it an alien knockoff, but the only thing about it, you're underwater on Earth. No, it's not an alien knockoff. I personally believe that there's things at the bottom of the ocean, and life forms at the bottom of the ocean, that man will never be able to see or never be able to contact unless they choose to come up to the surface to where we can meet them and you know survive to some degree where you don't have to wear these pressurized suits and you know things of that nature but you know i think the movie the movie explains a lot um as human beings there's a lot that we don't know about there's a lot that um we haven't explored here on earth let alone in outer space and no this is not an alien knockoff movie but i think that the way the movie ended it could lead to being a franchise such as an alien type movie in a sense of um a continuation of the story of what's actually down there you got to see the movie to see these creatures and you got to see the movie to understand the whole totality of actually what's going on and how it can bleed off into being its own franchise and creating several sequels after this one but underwater was a very very uh underrated movie um i underrated it you know even though i wanted to go see it um and, and you know i saw a couple of views reviews prior to seeing it but you know seeing it for myself and um here's a picture of me in the actual movie theater uh so you guys can be like oh you didn't go see it yeah i did um i would recommend that you go see this movie as well i'm not going to give it a score because i don't give movie scores um like some other people do i just explained to you what i liked about it what i took from it what you might take from it and sort of the synopsis generally of the movie but not giving anything away the movie is worth seeing if you like suspense you like being you know, in claustrophobic spaces, you like not being able to see what's around you and know what's around you, you like the jump scares, you know, you like that us versus the world mentality of a small group of people trying to survive against all odds, then this is that particular movie for you. I would definitely recommend this movie for you to go check it out or, you know, wait till it come out on Blu-ray because more than most likely I'm going to get this movie on Blu-ray. Anyway, guys, I'm Troy. This is Troy Let's Talk Real Movie Review. Peace.